Well, first of all, welcome and thank you very much indeed for taking the time to talk to us today. No, oh, thank you on behalf of the collective. Really appreciate it. So ethnographic uh, terminalia, tell us a little bit uh, more about what it is. Well, it's a, a curatorial collective that started in um, 2009 and it was started by Craig Campbell, who's at the University of Texas, Kate Hennessy, who's at Simon Fraser University in Canada, um, Stephanie Takagawa at Chapman University, and the other members of it are Trudy Smith, is at the university at York University in Toronto, and um, myself, and I'm at University College London in England, and in, our newest member is uh, Thomas Ross Miller from Brooklyn College in New York, and so it started with this sort of agitation of um, where could we exhibit or present our research outside of the forum of a conference, and because a lot of the research that we do isn't con is not conducive to be presented in a short paper format and so that came about with the first exhibition in um, Philadelphia where it was about pushing the boundaries and crossing the boundaries between art and anthropology and that had 17 artists in it at the Crane Arts. That followed on the next year in New Orleans um, at the Demois Gallery, followed on by that in Montreal at the, at, um, the Eastern Bloc Gallery in an exhibition called Field Studio Lab. Last year we did it in San Francisco audible observatories and each year we kind of have a different focus on what we're doing and this year we've moved to Chicago so we've been exhibiting for the last five years alongside the American Anthropological Association meetings. So when folks uh, from the conference go go along to see the exhibition what are they going to find? Uh, specifically here in Chicago? Specifically here in Chicago. Well it's based, uh, the exhibition is based on a residential model and it's installed at the uh, gallery called the Arts Incubator, which is under the directorship of the artist Theaster Gates, and it's part of the Arts and Public Life Initiative at the University of Chicago. So we're in the, what's called the Project Flex space, and so when somebody, you know, who we highly encourage to come in, they're going to see um, process, they're going to see artists and anthropologists collaborating on seven specific projects. These are seven groups who have been invited from around the world and have been funded by respective institutions in their home countries to come in and do everything from Coast Salish knitting of the Tsarlip First Nations in Canada to um, ethnographic portrait painting by Zoe Bray, who's at the University of Nevada, Reno, a shrine by the Abano, also a collective from Portugal that looks at the intersections of art and anthropology, and, um, an artist, Ian Kirkpatrick, who, with whom we've had a sustained conversation for the since 2009, and he is inhabiting uh, a space that looks at this art artist perspective on the art and artifact debate that comes from Alfred Gell um, in anthropology and we have two specific groups that are looking at visualizing place and have focused their methodologies to look at the Washington Park area in Garfield in Chicago and so there is all projects have some resonance with Chicago. How important do you think uh, art is for anthropologists as a method of communication? I think it's very important. Um, myself, I, I study um, art and anthropology. I come at it from a visual anthropological perspective, but also the materials. I look at the materials in art, and art really can help us to understand, um, understand culture and understand, again, I hesitate to say necessarily knowledge production because I'm, I'm myself, I'm working through what that means exactly, but art is a way for us to understand community. And in, in the Arts Incubator, we are a community installed within Chicago. and and we are using art to even understand place in, in this context. So there's, very, there's many different perspectives and approaches to how people are, use art in anthropology and how artists use anthropology and anthropological texts. So. Well, it sounds absolutely fascinating, and I hope as many uh, AAA members as possible can get along. So thank you very much indeed for joining us today. Wonderful. Thank, thank you very you. much.